All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Another night in the street, another night in this hair. I've been kicking the trip and the cops is me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just give me a. I've been an employee of the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office for 14 years. My greatest asset, I feel, is IPC skills, it's, which is interpersonal communication skills, which enables me to be able to deal with some of the worst people that walk through our doors. Our goal every day that we walk into this building is to go home safe and unhurt. We should walk this way, right here. After I ask you the medical questions, then I'm going to take you over fingerprint, all right? Praise the Lord, everybody. That's right. Okay. Got a question. Yes, Do you sir. need any kind of protective custody from any kind of gangs? Any kind of gangs? Motorcycle gangs, street gangs, no. religious sir. gangs, no gangs? Sir, no. I'm okay. 55 years old with no teeth. Gotcha. I'm through with it. Okay. All right. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. What about alcohol? You do any kind, use any kind of alcohol? Hey. Hey. All right, here's what's going to happen. When you're ready to cooperate, we'll yeah, get you to the No, 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 you need to have a seat. You done made a mistake, sir. Yeah. Please. You, you don't, no, can I talk? Let me talk to the higher authority. Let me talk to the higher people. Hey, let me talk. Come in, come in, come in. Come in. Come in. Hey. hey, why are y'all doing this? You don't need to do all that. Prisoners, look what's happening. All right, walk that way for it. Remember that, prison. At midnight, at midnight, y'all get ready. Wow, y'all some bad boys in the Trucking for Jesus, God for promotion, and they're going to put me in a cell. So guess what? All the people on our side, I feel for them. I'll come back and talk to you in a little bit. Don't worry about it. In a little while. Hey. All right, this, uh, this is still very uncooperative. We'll try to uh, approach him again about maybe 2 o'clock in the morning to see if he'll cooperate at that time. Until then, we're going to sit him there until uh, he becomes cooperative. <laughs> Don't okay. give me your rigmarole. Okay. All right? You're gonna take me to jail for drinking a burr. I don't call. Can't touch this. I'm clean, baby. I'm a chef, sir. I make $15 an hour. You ain't got nothing on me. Right. All right, Kenneth. What? I got some medical questions I'm gonna have to ask you, okay? No, I don't have no medical problems, sir. Okay. No, 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 no. But I, I still have to ask you, okay? Man, I'm a chef, man. Guess what? I'm going home tomorrow. Exactly. Have I'm there, a rich man, sir. Have there currently been a few weeks when you feel like you're useless or sinful? No, I don't think so, sir. Okay. I make more than you make an hour, guaranteed. Do you have AIDS, hepatitis, VD? You Not trying to joke me home? No, sir. All right, you know what? I'm going to do what I do. But guess what? I'm getting right out in the morning. I'm straight up legit. All you need is a, is a little bitter. Come on. Don't put your hands I'm not going to touch you. Just go in there and relax. We're going to take you upstairs to see the mastery shortly, okay? I don't know the mastery. Come on, right here. Hey, mm -hmm. I like you. Well, thank you. You know why? Why is that? You have, you have a heart. All right. Don't touch me. No, I'm not going to touch you. I just need you to step inside don't here. Don't touch me. I'll be back to get you in a little bit, okay? Yeah. No, no, I'll be back in a little bit. I'll be back in a little bit. Kenneth initially came in very agitated. Uh, we placed him inside the holding cell to give him a cool down period to sort of sleep off his intoxication. All right, we're gonna uh, try Mr. He's, uh, he's been uncooperative each time we've tried to uh, process him through our system. I'm gonna go and uh, speak with this gentleman now. Sir! He's up on the wall. Oh. Mm. Help me, Help me, How'd you get up there? Help me, Help me, Jesus! 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 He didn't get me up here and put me in jail in the same in the same county where I got a trouble with Jesus. That's a promotion. You're exactly right. I'm not. I, I would agree with you on that, Mr. Oh, oh, oh. Help me, Jesus! Help me, Jesus! Help me, Jesus! 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 Give me my place! Give me my place! I went to the bank. Walked to the bank. All right. Everybody's back out. Check around. All 
All right, go ahead and have a seat. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go get the nurse at the same time. They're going to shoot with you. At night when y'all go to sleep, don't worry about it. In my opinion, if he continues, as like he just did, he got on top of that uh, concrete barrier, he could easily fall off and bust his head wide open and really hurt himself. I think if he, uh, if he attempts it again, I think the best option would be place him in a restraint chair until we could possibly get him calmed down or, or if the nurse decides to send him, send him to mental health for evaluation. Right, we'll, we'll sort of pay for it. Another Friday night in, in the rest process. Yeah. We're busy tonight. Working here at the Central Jail, just get very fortunate at times to work with uh, someone you're kind of in sync with. That booking facility, it's a very dangerous job. It's a good, comfortable feeling for me, knowing that I have good partners like Deputy Ramirez to back me up in critical situations. Yeah, it's very important always just to maintain our cool and at the same time always watch each other's back and the safety of not just us, but the other inmates. They blacked me out. They blacked you out? They jumped on me. They blacked me out. And I was parked. I was gone, not driving, nothing. So what's your name, These man? guys, Mark. Mark? These guys, too f***y to be firefighters, so they're cops. We got one for DUI. We ended up fighting one guy. The other guy got in the car, took off. I'm baffled by your behavior. So do you guys have anything to drink today? Or? Not at all. We're just using the toilet. But they said you were fighting with them. <laughs> Why were you guys? We you did, know, not, did fight. not fight. They with jumped on me. I did not fight them. And when it goes like, how do you go? I'm going. Yes, sir. What do you need? You know, we weren't looking for trouble here. I, I needed to take anything. a pee. That's all I needed to do. And I'm, and I'm going to walk in the car. I still need to take a pee. Gonna, man. That's all I, I wanted I'm to do. And I'm not running from you guys at all. Are they ready? Come on, Mark. Let's take These a picture. Guys were man. not civilized at all. Right here. Back up against this wall. Look at the camera right there. You guys twins? Yes. Yeah. How old are you guys? 52. Well, you guys been ever been in jail together before? This is, it's kind of, you know, you got to admit, it's kind of funny. Not to me. Look at the camera. Early childhood nutrition is when the brain does its most growing. So I'm sorry, your mom's didn't love you enough to feed you when you're kids. Well, look at you guys. You're <laughs> cool. You're not you know, there. Oh, look, 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 I'm you guys, serious. You guys are 52 years old, grown men. Sitting here in handcuffs. You guys are 52 yeah, years old. Yeah, because we live in a police state. You yeah, guys, you guys are acting like, like gangsters. gangsters. Thank you. Gentlemen, go ahead and stand up. Come on, twins. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, uh, lift my shirt up or not? Thank you. you want me to lift your shirt up? Sure. Welcome <laughs> to America, Greg. And welcome back. That's right. Land of the free. So, officer, what exactly happened? Basically, the entire parking lot was barricaded off just for officers and vehicles to be. There was an opening there. They said, do not enter, please, please do not cross. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, the two brothers come in, a, come in their vehicle. They come past the barricade, park in the parking lot. And we tell them, you know, you can't park here. It's a police barricade. A uh, gentleman with a hat uh, grabs his groin, gives us the middle finger, and says, you guys, goes inside the bathroom. While the other brother jumps inside the car and that, attempts to drive it off. Mm -hmm. Search incident to arrest, they found a uh, small amount of hashish. That's like you the guys press, planted uh, it. I know nothing about any of that. Anyways, uh, it was a felony, and uh, he was arrested for the DUI, uh, resisting arrest. Wait, and, DUI, uh, like driving under the influence? Dri driving under, uh, under the influence uh, is a point one out, as well as resisting a peace officer. Officer, need assistance in booking. All right, what do we got? We got a guy, 647F. He was being really difficult with the transit officers, being combative, so we got to check out his status. All right, doing. let's see what's going on. You forged my signature. You forged my signature on the ticket, dude. I'm going to you over, man. What exactly happened? Any person or patron creates a disturbance on board the Metro Transit system, disabled, man. he or she he can be refused look, service. Got, it's a lie. I will sue you. And you think, really? hey, do you think this is going to help gonna, you? You think this is going to help you? I mean, I'm I don't. going to get you, Joseph. Hey, you're not I talking do. to him anymore. You're talking to me. Let's stand up. 
Let's take the picture. Tell them, Whatever you're going to do, to you're going to do. Now. Okay, well, tell you know what? Them they are not going to take their hands off until you relax. Are you going to take the picture or not? Last question. Yeah, okay, stand up. Go over there to that wall. Put your back against that gray wall. Look at this camera over here. I will see you, Joseph. I got your name, your badge number, and everything. Look at the camera. All right, let's go. All right, it's time to go to sleep. I ain't going to sleep. All right, you don't have to then. Go down to your knees. We'll catch you. Down your stomach. Down your stomach. Man, hold up, hold up, hold up. We hold got up, you. Hold ain't up. gonna let you fall. You ain't got to put your knee in my back. It hurts. Just temporary. No, it hurts. Listen, it we're gonna leave. Do not get up. Yeah. If you get up, you will get hurt. Do no, you understand are you that? Threatening me? Yes, I am. No, I won't. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Let's stay wait. where so, you are. are you stay on the ground. Are you stay on the ground? Let's go. Stay on the ground. Man, hold up. Stay on the ground. I'll talk to you when we're done. I'll talk to you when we're done. Big and Transit officer still has the right to refuse anyone under the influence of an alcohol, like himself. So what we did is we took him upstairs. As you can see, he needs to be in a sobering cell because he just can't maintain with everybody else. One beer, nothing else. Unfortunately, he's going to have a long night ahead of him because he's just not cooperating with anybody else. Here in Multnomah County on any given night, we can get someone in here on charges that stem from alcohol in public all the way up to aggravated murder. The inmates that come in here that have mental issues or that are high on drugs are a little bit more challenging for staff because we have to rely on our interpersonal communication skills as opposed to our physical control. So those are one of the biggest challenges that staff faces in this facility is dealing with people in an open booking environment verbally as opposed to physically. This, this was uh, last night's here. Last night's here. Oh! You guys have the male or female? How you doing, brother? Yeah, it's a male. male. This All is right. the fish net guy, Kathy. All right. You were in here last night? Yes. What were you in here for last night? Uh, evidently, they said I was uh, here for drunk and disorderly. Okay. And why are you here tonight? Evidently, they said I was taking clothes off on the on a TriMet bus, but it's actually putting them on. I have three layers of dresses on. Okay. Three layers of dresses? Dresses. Where's your pants? I don't wear pants anymore. Okay. All right. So you were in here last night, right? Yeah, from 9 o'clock until 3.30. Okay, when I take the handcuff off, put your hand on the counter for me, all right? Certainly. Thank you very much. I'm an officer and gentleman. Yes, you are, so far. And I'm a lady now. I'm going to become a girl. It's not all what it's cracked up to be, trust me. There you go. Especially being this tall. I'm 6'3". Well, there you go. I then I put right heels on, I'm 6'5". You don't have heels on today, do you? Oh, yeah, I just bought brand new ones, see? Oh, those are beautiful. Aren't those cute? That's like retro. Yeah. I didn't pay a dime for them. I stole them. Well, that's excellent. <laughs> All right, hand your coat to my partner there. This is a little hard to get off. It's tight. This is a Vidal Sassoon, girl. Pull. Vidal Sassoon? Yep. Beaver. These were definitely not made for man hands. There we go. Here, I'll go. Careful, careful there. Don't be with my $400 Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Take your bracelets off for me. Don't break them. Thank you. How about your hair today? All right, we're going to put some uh, blues on you while you're here, okay? Oh, I wanted to go to the women's prison. Well, I know, but you can't wear that back there, okay? Why? Because it's inappropriate. Do I look good, girl? You look great right now, but it's inappropriate for a jail environment, so I'm going right. to need you to take this top part off. Right. I'm going to get some scrubs here for you. Uh -huh. I want you to put these on over your uh, Unzip legs. Me. Unzip me. Sorry. I'll do that next. Search first. Unzip uh, me. We'll search them when we get the... Unzip me, please. Uh, we're going to do this part first, okay? Unzip. Help me out here. Work with me. Put those on. Unzip me. I don't like pants at all. Hang on. I'm going to unzip you here. That's a beautiful suede dress, too. So what exactly were you doing tonight, and how did you end up here? I had a beer at the bus stop, and I got on the bus. And I was sitting way at the back of the bus. So I finished off my beer, mm -hmm. put it in a bag, mm -hmm. and worked on my new shoes. Right. I had to, I had to alter them so they fit my feet good. And mm -hmm. all of a sudden, everybody started evacuating the bus. 
I don't know why. What the hell? Did the bus break down or what? And so they said, you're going to have to get off the bus, the driver says, and then that, that's when everybody snatched me. Mm -hmm. And they said, you were taking your clothes off on the bus and making people nervous. Mm -hmm. I was not. I was putting clothes on. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you keep your coat while you're here, just in Thank case you, you get cold. And I'd appreciate and it if you'd refer to me. Beaver. Listen, listen. Vidal Sadun. Listen, listen to me. Yeah. Please don't call me baby. Okay? I'm, okay. How about Sergeant or ma'am? All right, Gordon. That'll work. Or Gordon. Gordon. There you go. Put Look it on. Look at that. Yeah, Sassoon. Vidal Sassoon. God, that's a beautiful coat. <laughs> it's reversible. This is, this is reversible. It is. Why don't you put it on? I don't need to put it on. I'm, I'm warm enough. But I'll take it with me. All right. Feel yeah, that. That's Bieber, baby. Thing. That feels like felt. That's Bieber. Bieber. One thousand dollar jacket. Beaver in a beaver state. Let me see your right hand there. Thank you. I, 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 easy, easy. Don't get violent on me. You're gonna start I'm scaring me here in a minute. Bye. Very good. All right, take that and wipe your hand off so you don't get it on that mink beaver coat. Oh yeah. Because you won't be able to see it because <laughs> that's <it's black>. right. <laughs> oh, okay, that was gross. Well, I just spit on it. You didn't okay. have me any soap. But I'm gonna give you some soap in a minute. Grab your coat. All right. There's a garbage can at the end of the counter. Have please use fun, it. Gentlemen, could I have something to eat, please? I need two sack lunches at least. We'll, give, we'll, get, you, we'll get you set up. <laughs> so what was he doing? He was taking his clothes off on the bus and freaking everyone out. And the bus stopped. And he ran across the street into a bar and then out the back door on us and doing another bar. And... That part he left out. Yeah. OK, well, he might be staying tonight. So he might get two sets of bologna sandwiches, two sack lunches. Sure. Oh, yeah! Grab your stuff. We go through this door, bring it down a notch. You can put this in property because... I'll carry it for you. Come on. That that belongs to a girl on the bus. Right. She dropped it. All right. I kept it for her. Step on down to my partner down there. Yeah. Why do keep, I need to go in there? Keep your coat, Colonel, because I'm just, making... We're going we're gonna to put you in there for a little while, and then we're going to figure out... Uh, so nobody messes with you. We don't want anybody messing with you. Well, can I sit and watch TV? Remember, remember the deal that I made you? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Have a seat. There's two of them right there. We'll work our way up from there. Thank okay, you, those guys don't get to. I'm giving you two because you served a country. Did a great job. All right? Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Holy cow. Thank you. Thank you. He's the reason that uh, my job is fun. Hoorah. Uh, the colonel's been put in an isolation cell tonight, um, basically because he came in a little bit tipsy and the fact that uh, of the way he was dressed. So he's not going to be able to sit out in open holding with the other guys. And uh, he'll go to court tomorrow morning and see the judge then. So. Now that the colonel has finished the booking process, we've gone ahead and escorted him through the release process. Um, it's going to be up to himself to take care of himself tonight out on the street, but he's still going to have to show up for court tomorrow and see the judge. Come on over here and take your uh, property right over here. OK, the money's inside your bag right there, OK? No, this way, this way, this way, this way. And? I want you to put that in your coat pocket. Right. That's your paperwork. That'll tell you where to go when you come to court tomorrow, OK? Right. Right down these stairs here. Right. I want to sit you out right here so you can put your stuff back on, all right? I, I want to put it on. You can put it on. We're going to sit you right here where you can put it on, OK? This is cold out here. I know. It's not that bad. It's actually kind of mild. Oh, OK. Why don't you go ahead and have a seat right here? Right. Here's your property. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck to you, Colonel. Take care of yourself, all right? Thank you. You're welcome. Make sure you show up for court, all right? Oh, yeah. Tomorrow in this very same building, OK? Oh, yeah. Will you be there? No, I won't be there. But I might might arrange it so the Deputy Bledsoe can be there for you. What time? 2 o'clock. You get there at 1.30. Hold on to the rail when you walk down the stairs so you don't fall. You don't think I have to walk down the stairs and heels without falling? Come on, girl. So tomorrow afternoon, the Colonel's going to have to show up for court. And the judge at that point will either impose a fine or in this case, he might just drop the charges altogether. But either way, I'm sure we'll be seeing the colonel again soon. Bye bye, Gordon. Woo!
and the doors open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride now the night hits my face and it brings me to life oh lord now i'm out that jail tonight another night in my street another night in my hair now i'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight i'm gonna go home to my family tonight i've been thinking about my home i've been thinking about my needs i don't want to be alone i gotta get up And the doors open up and they leave me outside I'm gonna go home to my family tonight